Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, we're going to have another look at Adobe Firefly text to image because Adobe Firefly text to image has had another update. And as you can see, the results are very, very incredible. What I specifically want to look at today are photorealistic results and let's just get right into it. So before we do, make sure that you like this video and then subscribe to my channel because that's going to encourage me to make more videos for you. So with that, let's get started here. I'm going to type in my classic prompt dog in a sweater and let's see what this comes up with. So the Firefly Image 2 beta screen looks a little bit different than the former because there are some new features added. So specifically, we can set the content type to either photo or art. You can adjust the visual intensity. I'll tell you that when I adjust the slider to the max, what it tends to do is give it more of a graphic style than a photo photographic style. Then we have the matching reference image to style. We'll go over that and give it an actual demo. Here are the effects. Those are all the same as in the original. And then the color and tone, lighting and composition, those are all the same as the original. But now we have photo settings for aperture, shutter speed, and field view. So we may test those. And then under advanced settings, you can now include a negative prompt of things that you wouldn't want to appear in your generations. So let's have a look, first of all, at our photos of dogs in sweaters. So I would say that that is very photorealistic. The textures are great. The expression on the face is real. This one as well, not quite as real in the textures of the fur. That one is great. Nice outdoor lighting and another studio shot. But with those eyes and the, uh, I don't know, it looks photorealistic to me, that's for sure. So why don't we give it another shot here with a romantic couple at a park. Here we have our romantic couples, let's inspect. Nice looking image, mm, something a little bit lacking in terms of it being photoreal. This one is better looking. The expressions on the faces are nice. I like how these are just nice average looking people. That tends to make the images look much more photorealistic. Not too bad. While we're here, why don't we go ahead and test some of these photo settings. So I'm going to change the field of view. Let's make it all the way to wide. And I'm going to increase the motion blur to max. And let's generate this and see what we get for results. So we can see that it has given us a more depth when it comes to the field of view it has zoomed out in terms of the faces themselves though definitely not as believable in any of these and a few issues as well we see here with anatomies and things like that so that's interesting let's go ahead and put it back to our defaults and then let's try generating here with something like family at the circus very natural looking results. Let's have a look. It de de decided to make it very Canada themed, which I guess is okay. That's a great looking image. I like how he has the hat on top of his head. That's cute. But that looks like an actual family. Same thing here, although there's some issues with faces. And that one isn't bad either. So great. This is all very, very interesting. Let's try another rendition here. And let's just say a woman aged 25, 35 in 1998. So let's have a look. Great looking image, extremely natural looking. The same here, here, and here. These all look incredible. How would you ever know that these were not photographs that were taken? I can certainly not tell that this was an AI generated image. I'm extremely impressed. So I can show you here one of the other great features of Firefly 2, which is that it will allow you to, it will give you suggested prompts. So if you just start, start typing in words, it's going to give you suggestions so let's try, for example, dog at a foggy morning walk on the mountain peaks and see what this generates. Here we have dogs on the mountaintop, just as we asked for, but we can continue here and let's see what else it suggests. Near Lake Hawea, South Stack, or 
mountain peaks with grass in your hand. Dog at a foggy morning walk on the mountain peaks with reflections of wintry scenery. Let's try this. So it has given our scenes now, but in the winter time, again, just as we ask for. Let's try this again with the suggested prompts. So let's just say man. In the middle, man watching the Milky Way night sky over a lake. Sounds beautiful. Let's check it out. Beautiful shots. Very nice. Sky is natural. This looks a little bit as though he's superimposed. Maybe it's just the colors overall are a little bit unnatural. That's quite cool. And so is that. They're quite nice looking. I don't know if they're super real looking, but why don't we try another one here? Why don't we say woman and see what comes up? In a black dress sitting on the floor with a skull. All right, I'm intrigued. Let's try it. Woman on the floor with a skull. It is what we asked for. And the images look, look at how natural that is. Everything about the anatomy is great. Her position, even the highlights of lighting on her face. Another great shot. And this one, we're getting two skulls for the price of one. So I'm continued to be impressed. Let's see if we can add on to this one. Skull and a candle creative horror concept. Let's try this. So similar results just with our candles that have been added. The faces don't look quite as believable in this set. Not The renderings aren't quite as nice, but still we're getting great results. Why don't we try one more? Why don't we try Mouse and see what it comes up with. Mouse is a good dancer with bow and arrow. All right, that's a couple of things to work with. And these are not going to be in the photographic style because it's too abstract. But here we have Mice. Apparently they're great dancers and they all have bows and arrows. Again, it's throwing in the Canadian flag. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe just to taunt me because I do live in Canada. I'm not sure. I want to try one more time and get a nice photo reel result. So why don't we say a baby laying in a crib. Cute. So let's look at our babes. Nice image. Very realistic. The eyes, especially once slightly turned in, which is great, actually. Beautiful. And this one also quite believable looking. So the final thing that I'm going to show you is how it can match the style from another image. So I'm going to upload an image here. Let's choose this one. So by uploading this image, it should completely take on the art style of our reference. So let's just try this. Try generating. So here we have our punk babies. It took the style directly from that image. That's really, really incredible. And they give you all kinds of reference images to use as well. So you don't have to necessarily upload one. So let's just try something else here like this painting style. So here we have our painted babies. Let's try another one. Let's try something like this 3D mode. So here we have 3D rendered looking babies. Let's try just one more here. We'll try this wild graphic design style. Whoa, that's really, really mega, mega something. Very, very intense. So of course not photo real with that sort of style on top of it, but pretty cool stuff. Let's remove our style again so we see what our original images were. <laughs> Fantastic. So what do you think, folks? Are you impressed with Adobe Firefly 2? I know that I am. I've never seen such photo reel results and I'm just exci excited about it because it's so much fun and it's going to make it so much easier to make useful images for my projects. So I hope that you did like the video. If you did, then like it. And again, make sure that you subscribe to my channel because that's going to encourage me to make more videos for you. And with that, I will see you the next time.